So this is Peter Bond and Poyo dropping a 33 kills third in the Duo Cash Cup Finals, which I know is not that impressive until you realize the lobby they did it in. In this lobby, we have, I think, seven FNCS champions. And Peterbot manages to get 33 kills, getting 29 of them himself. Poyo only getting four of them. So it's basically a finals lobby in opens. And it starts with them. Okay, Poyo gets the loot. Okay, at least Poyo gets the loot. We're triple conned at Grim Gate. But just look at the people in this lobby. So we have Npen, Booger, Clicks, Epic Whale, Acorn Cold. We have Muzz in here, Reciprocals in here, Ocus and Bucky, Playify, Trashy, Skittles, Nick FN. Like, this is the most OG and Jeff. This is the most stacked opens lobby we've ever seen. And Peterbot and Poyo go on to drop like 29 kills in this. Well, Peterbot gets 29, Poyo gets four. So apparently Peterbot managed to take down six FNCS champs in here. One of which, Acorn and Cold, the reigning champs, he won V2s. Poyo goes down. Peterbot gets the double kill off rib. We got Age and Booga who tried to make a play for Grimgate. Disengaging. Npen and Kanata and Coop bro. This lobby is a who's who of NA. This was the last game of Duo Cash Cup opens on NA. So it was extremely stacked. The lobby popped 15 seconds before it ended. And then just made basically a finals lobby in opens. Wow, this other team is literally running from him. They're not even trying to lock down Grim Gate. This team is just dipped. They're a duo. They're a healthy duo with loot. And they're like, yeah, nah. <laughs> you can have it. Peterbot has different ideas, though. All right, well. <laughs> Peterbot's going for a high. He's on 544 points, too. So they did not need this game at all. I think qualification was like 405. So who else have we missed? Who else is in here? Edgy and Tavern. Another FNCS winning team. Quinn's in here with Blizzard. We got Danny in here. We play five. We already watched. Bro, this lobby is so stacked. Oh, Paper and Muzz fighting Booger and Ages. It's just a fun lobby to watch, man. It's just going to be a fun lobby to VOD review anyway. So Booger and Ages fighting Muzz and Paper. Looks like they're both going to disengage. All right, Poyo and Peterbot. What is... Wait, did Poyo just... Oh, we're about to watch some fancy tech, are we? So Poyo has built the two walls here and an edited stair. And he's built doors. So normally people build two walls here to pin Cerberus and glitch him. It looks like they found a new strategy. Oh, is Cerberus going to spawn? Oh, nice. All right. So Poyo and Peterbot finding out a new strategy. This is so he literally can't move. It just fully pins him in place and you can still hit headshots. Wow. Okay. Well, Peter and Poyo, this is their drop spot for a reason. They figured out all the tech here. We're leaking the strats. That would work even better in solos too. It just makes it so much easier to lock it down. Oh, wait, so they patched it. Okay, so I'm being told they patched it so the two regular walls don't work anymore. But if you do that, two walls edit into doors with a spiral stair, and that will pin Cerberus again, bro. That is crazy. All right, well, this is their drop spot for a reason. Oh, Kanata and Koopa. Here we go. Peterbot Poyo versus Koopa Kanata might be our first pro duo on the list. Cooper and Kanata are also playing pretty aggressive here. They're pushing over towards Muzz and... So it's Muzz. Wait, is Muzz here? No, Muzz is down that way. Wait, is this Muzz? No, it's Pump. Pump and Npen getting in a fight. Just getting third-partied by Cooper and Kanata. And then getting third-partied by Peterbot and Poyo. The who's who right now, man. Oh, Peterbot's got to be careful. There it is. All right, Cooper and Kanata. This is going to be our first pro team that we take down. So Peterbot using DMR shotgun SMG. So triple gun loadout. Meanwhile, Poyo's running double gun, but he's got the Zeus... He's got the Zeus Lightning Bolt. Peterbot gets hit hard and Kanata's going to start pushing up. They're going to push back though. So I assumed when Peterbot got 29 of their like 33 kills or something that Poyo just like dies super early this game. I'm guessing Poyo must die early. But then that's even more insane that Peterbot manages to do that as a solo. All right. Well, it looks like Pump and Npen are going to be the first pro duo we take down. Peterbot build fighting in. Npen pushing in. Peterbot trying to split them though. Peterbot gets straight in. Remember, Pump is one of the best fighters and solo players on the region as well. Oh. Oh, Poyo goes down. Poyo dies. Poyo's already gone down to end pen. And Peterbot takes down Pump. Damn. Okay, so this, this whole game is just going to be us slandering Poyo, apparently. I feel bad, too, because Poyo does not get enough love. For how good this duo is. Everything's always about Peterbot. And Poyo is crazy. But I don't know if this game is going to show it, unfortunately. We'll see. Epic Whale gets an Elim in the feed as well. So Whale and Click still going strong. I imagine somewhere. Oh, no. Did they not drop Lavish? Oh, they rotated out of Lavish. Epic and Clicks. 
heading the complete opposite direction of Peterbot and Poyo. Definitely a coincidence, but a lucky one. All right, Poyo gets rebooted. So we've already got Poyo back in this. Got a pretty big dead side. This is not the same as Peterbot's solo 40 bombs chat. Trust me. Even in finals. Finals for solos is top 9,000 people. This is a lobby full of pros and FNCS winners. Like the caliber of this lobby compared to a solo victory finals is not even close. You're comparing pubs and grand finals. This lobby is so much better. <laughs> Peterbot and Poyo trying to find M-Pen. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, I would love to use that as an example of all the kids saying that Peterbot and Poyo are ESP cheating. I mean, again, kids are just going to say that they're acting, but <laughs> I think they very clearly would have killed N-Pen if they knew he was there. For anyone who's watching, we are watching this before the Duo Cash Cup Finals. In today's Duo Cash Cup Finals, Peterbot is now getting contested by Quanti and Chubbs, who are currently 8-4 to four in favor of Quanti off spawn at Grimgate. So Peterbot apparently might have found his match on spawn against one of his good friends, Quanti. They're also getting contested by Antonio as well. So NA might not be the runaway we were expecting. It looks like teams are finally starting to drop on Peterbot and putting up a good fight with it. So we'll see. Peterbot getting both the Mythics. So Poyo kind of just giving him the loadout. We got Evoke now hiding as well. Everyone is just hiding from Peterbot. This guy is just trying to hide over here as well. Do you think they know? I wonder if Peterbot turned off anonymous mode. I think he did, because Bucky was streaming this lobby, and I'm pretty sure he could see Peterbot killing everyone. So I think Peterbot's turned off anonymous mode, and now the whole lobby is just hiding from them. He has double medallion, so you can now see him on the minimap as well. Peterbot did get given both mythics, and I think potentially maybe both medallions. No, I don't think he has the dash medallion, actually. So we're kind of expecting Peter to drop all the kills here with both mythics, though. Poyo is just letting him do what he wants to do. All right, we found our next duo. This is Vay's duo. Not as well known as some of the FNCS champs, but still a good duo. This team is on 359 points in the cash cup. Qual was just a little over 400, so a good team regardless. One banana, one splash as well. So still not the best meds for Peterbot. We'll probably get a big refresh here, though, on this, as long as we get these kills. Man, Peterbot's so confident, going straight up to the walls on another good duo, just playing diagonal box fights. Poyo wasn't even close enough to back us up if they edit on him. Peterbot takes down Vay's, and we are still 6-0. Peterbot has all six of our kills so far. Oh, it looks like Peterbot does have Grimgate Medallion. Never mind. Poyo has given Peterbot both medallions and both mythics. Oh, boy. I mean, I wonder if it's smart to split up the medallions just so you're not as marked on the minimap, maybe. Does it work that way or does it work per duo? I've never actually looked. All right, 7-0. Come on, Poyo. We've got to get on the board, son. Come on. Oh, Paper and Muzz. Here we go. Our first FNCS champions. Let's see how this one goes. Paper and Muzz, not an easy team by any means. One of the favorites to do well this grand finals. Peterbot opens up with 290 tags onto Paper. Poyo hasn't even done anything yet. Now Poyo takes the split angle. Poyo's going to fight from over this edge. Get inside the box with Muzz. Paper goes down. Muzz is now solo trying to hold off two of the best players in the game at the same time. Peterbot just dashing through the walls to give him those extra angles. And Poyo's on the board. Poyo's the one who takes down Paper. What can Muzz do here? I mean, honestly, what can Muzz do here? He's just going to bleed bullets through as well. Muzz doing his best to try to hold angles and hold his pump out. Nice side jump from Muzz, though. Muzz actually putting up a really good fight right now. Just unfortunately, it is a 1v2. Muzz has no time to get any meds off either. Oh, Peter and Poe are going to stop and, and Fizzberry. So Muzz has a bit of time to get a med kit off. I mean, this only goes one way. It shows how good Muzz is, though. The difference of watching this compared to, like, if this is any other player or almost any other player, they're already dead by now. Oh, Muzz goes for the counter-aggression. Hits the window edit pump onto Peterbot. So Muzz honestly putting up a really good fight there. Very respectable effort there, I'd say, for Muzz in a 1v2. All right, one FNCS champion down. Let's count. Let's count how many FNCS champs we take down. Well, maybe we'll count them in amounts of FNCSs. That's, let's give that three. That's three FNCSs. <laughs> the three-time champ, Muzz. All right, we're inside Pleasant. We haven't, got any, we haven't got any of our really big teams over on this side of the map. I think Clicks and Whale are still up here somewhere. So Booger and Ages are still up here fighting Turtle and, and Edgy. So multiple FNCS champs there as well. We have Clicks and Whale versus Asian Jeff and Oliver OG. Man, this lobby was just a who's who. Nice. Peterbot gets the cone. Trying to get the peace control. Looking very lost for this caliber of this lobby right now. That's okay. 32 teams, 59 players. So this isn't like a 50 bomb or anything. I mean, it's 33 kills, nothing small. 
but it's more just about how we take down the better players. Once we start getting towards this endgame, I'm very excited to see how Peter plays this. So we're going for top-down piece control here. This is in the water, so it's a bit awkward. Kind of want to avoid being on the low layers. It looks like Poyo phases in. Poyo uses the dash to phase in. So right now, we're focusing on Peterbot. And Peterbot's getting a lot of the kills. But Poyo is applying a lot of the pressure to give Peterbot the advantage here. Poyo is jumping straight in. Oh, nice pre-fire. Good play by that guy, though. Right-hand peek off the window. But good pre-fire from Peterbot. Very weird zone as well. Pulling super far onto the edge of the map. A lot of room for players to rotate around with the dashes too. We still got a lot of our big teams in here though. Right, we're making sure there's no one in any of these bases, but we've created our own dead side. This should actually be congested side of zone right here, but we are in a smarter lobby where most of them have rotated center using the mobility. But Peterbot and Poyo have also created their own dead side by killing every team that's here. Oh, Quinn. Quinn's a solo. We just saw Trey go down. Oh no, sorry. Quinn's not a solo. Never mind, sorry. Quinn and Trey aren't together anymore. It's Quinn and Blizzard. But we've got Cold and Acorn just off to the edge. So how many FNCS is that? Two each, right? No, three for Acorn. Two for Cold, right? So the five-time FNCS champs are in this one as well. Oh, Cold. Oh, my God. Okay, Cold. Regarded by many right now to be Peterbot's counter and the other best fighter on the region. Just 0.5 seconds. Quick dead. Down. Now we got Quinn and Blizzard as a duo and Acorn as a solo. To be fair, I will give Cold a bit of defense here. He's level 23 going into this tournament. Cold has not been playing this season at all, but again, still did not expect this to be that quick. Now it's Acorn running for his life. He, he has to know this is Peterbot. Where's Poyo? Oh, Peterbot gets in. Phases the wall. It was, it was a momentum phase in, but Acorn wasn't even holding the wall. So Peterbot straight in. Dances on them again. So what's that? That's eight FNCS titles we've now taken down so far this game. Half-Half pulls down towards the south, which is actually quite good for Poyo and Peterbot's positioning. It means they're going to have to close these fights out quickly, though. The chance of getting lobbied is about to go up by a lot. We've got a lot of players around here. All right, that's Poyo's fourth. 12 to 4. So Poyo's, so Poyo's kind of like somewhat close now, but it must just go crazy. They're 3,700 above Surge. You might see a Surge all-time record. I'm pretty sure the highest Surge I've ever seen was Mongrel, Micho, and Benji at 5,000 in Trio Season X. 5,000 above Surge, I think, is the record I've seen anyway. Age of Booger is still going in this lobby as well. Same with Kanata, Cooper, and Clicks and Whale. I don't know how many of those we take down here. I haven't watched... I didn't get to watch this game. We're just... Oh, this is Clicks and Whale. Here we go. Peterbot and Poyo versus Clicks and Epic Whale. But again, this is rotating zones now. So we're going we're gonna to base up and start holding them. That is unfortunate for Clicks and Epic Whale. I feel like it's going to be a lot harder for Peterbot to get kills now, you think, with how stacked this lobby is. Every time he tries to take a fight, you think he would just start getting sprayed. But I guess not. Peterbot, not afraid to just face straight in on a full duo. I mean, Poyo is not scared either. Poyo is straight in there with him. Poyo backing him up. you got to give Poyo the respect for... Always being the first one to jump in, too. He has full confidence. Oh, Edgy and Tavin. This could be our ninth FNCS in the book here if we take down Edgy. Oh, never mind. Edgy goes down to Poyo. Poyo gets the double kill. Poyo, 1v2s. Edgy and Tavin. I mean, Peterbot was there, but Poyo gets both kills. So I think that's Poyo's last kill of the game. Oh, Peterbot jumps on the wall. It's shy. Got to try and solo now. So Poyo's just looting back here now while Peterbot tries to 1v2. And I think that now means that Peterbot drops another 13 kills this endgame now by himself. All right, here's Epic and Clicks. I want to see Peterbot versus Clicks and Epic Whale, man. I want to see it so bad. I know Bucky and Okus are still in this lobby as well. Oh, so Peterbot's just being a nuisance as he goes through. This is mostly just the medallion right now. Peterbot can just stay back and just keep putting pressure and then keep teleporting forward. So to be fair, if we kill Epic Whale and Clicks here, I, I don't know how much of an outplay this is. This is just this is just having the medallion versus not having the medallion. And Whale is just having the, a great time right now. Whale is absolutely loving life. All right, that's six. So that's, what's that? 14 FNCS titles now, technically. 15 if we count... Edgy going down to uh, Poyo. Clicks is now here as well. Clicks goes down. Goes down to Honky Cat. 
I, I'm going to say Clicks and Whale didn't really get outplayed there as much as just, again, Peterbot has the medallion, so he can just keep dashing and spraying. All right, 22 elims for Peterbot and Poyo. I think that just said 5,000 above search. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, Poyo goes down to Coop Nada, the dig boys, putting down Poyo. And now Peterbot has to clutch it up as a solo. So he comes third place. He comes third this game, and there's still 21 teams alive. So he manages to pick up 11 kills and clutch up the third as a solo. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Cooper. The global champ straight in the box blended and we're getting L danced on. Oh no. Well, Kanata's now solo as well. Cooper getting caught on the way through. Peterbot is looking ridiculous this game. Player Fire is still here as well. Oh, Aegis jumps in on Peterbot. It's Booger and Aegis. It's Booger versus Peterbot X duos. Can we take it down? Booger would be another three FNCS titles in the books. Booger on the wall. Peterbot. Oh no, the 1v2 on a Booger and Aegis. 600 points. Peterbot's on 19 kills now. I've lost count of how many FNCS titles we've taken down this game. It's just, it's too hard to count at this point now. That's Kanata. Kanata's still spraying Peterbot. I think he's identified the threat in the lobby. Who else is still left? Who, who's left to be taken down here? We have Broken here. We have Higher and Pen still in this one. Bucky and Oka's here. Yumi and Vert. We got Blizzard and Quinn. We still got a lot of really big teams in here. <laughs> and Peterbot's dancing on all of them. Peterbot's taking it very seriously right now. I don't think anyone has high ground yet either. Has anyone taken the high ground position? Nah. First rotating zone, no one wants high ground yet. Broken gets kind of front side zone. Maybe y Vert and Yumi. Oh, we're holding out G-Money. G-Money being a bit quiet this season, but another very, very good fighter on NA. 5,658 above search. <laughs> That's a, I think that's the highest I've personally seen, but I'm not sure. Oh. Vert taking some shots in on Peterbot. I'm actually very excited to see how Vert and Yumi go right now. They're one of my underdog teams coming into NA. They're looking really, really good at the moment. Been playing a lot of scrims. Oh, there's Trashy and Skittles. Didn't realize Trashy was still in this lobby as well. So quite a few good teams remaining. And Peterbot, no audio or just no awareness. Peterbot... Looking very uncharacteristically lost there. Gets his back wall taken. He's down to nine builds. Only 120 total HP. This is not a good spot for Peterbot to be in. Oh, he goes back. Finds N-Pen. Quick dead on N-Pen. Gets the siphon. And we're going to get a bit of a mat refresh, but not a big mat refresh. Now it's another solo. Scouts up. Peterbot dashes straight. It's not a solo. It's a duo. And the siphon is looking beautiful. Peterbot back up onto 150 HP now. Peterbot isn't even on zero ping anymore either. He just moved into the agent house and unfortunately they're still having internet issues. So he's actually playing on about 20 ping. So not high, but he's still not even on true zero ping yet, even though he's in Dallas. Bit of a freebie there on a Dylan. Just a bleed shot straight through. That's going to top him up to 100, 100 though. The siphon looking beautiful right now. How much I've missed it. Oh, there's broken. See if we take down any more FNCS champs. This might be it. I don't know. I think Kanata's still in here. I think Kanata might be one of the only FNCS champs still in here. Ten teams, 15 players. So quite a few other solos in here. Peterbot can find them. He builds the two by one on low ground next to them. Gets out of the box. Peterbot somehow dodging higher here and player fire. Peterbot's going to try to 1v2 on backside of zone. Gonna take his time. He's got four bananas and a make it for white heels. Gets the siphon onto five. The siphon is proving to be so important right now, man. He drops four bananas for a single flopper after popping one. That was an interesting choice there from Peterbot. There's another siphon. Just keeping him going. 25 kills. We still got two more to go here. Six teams, eight players. Ocus and Bucky in zone. This is when Ocus needed to qual. So him and Bucky playing the med kits. Quinn also playing the med kits. Peterbot takes down Ocus. Peterbot on front side. He's got 30 builds here. He's put himself in a very lobbyable position. He's trying to create some space, though. Oh, the bananas were bugged. It's a replay bug? Oh, gotcha. Okay. Replay bug, apparently. Yumi and Vert take the high ground. I did predict they'd probably be the team on high ground. They're looking very good this season. I'm excited to see this duo. 
Trashy and Skittles on backside trying to play their meds and make their way in. Oh, Peterbot's lurking behind them, though. Peterbot takes him down. Peterbot takes down Trashy. Oh, my God. He takes down Quinn before someone can finally stop him. It's Skittles. Skittles puts him down, and Yumi and Ver get the free win. But my good God. Peterbot does it against pros, not just noobs.